Hi! Today we're going to complete the final part of our character project. In this part, we are going to focus on adding details to our Robo Knight. Because we drew the outlines for the eyes and the sword on a different layer in a previous lesson, now we can start adjusting those with the adjustments and make them a bit more interesting, rather than having this dark gray color. Let's start with the eyes. Okay, let's do that again. Let's make it bluer this time. There we go. We can also change the dark gray lines for the whole character as well. Maybe towards a dark violet. Let's do that once more. Okay, this is good. Now let's go to the sword's inner line. We want to make this dark red, so let's pursue that. Now let's redo it so it's a bit more red. Oh, I like that. That looks very nice. Now that looks like an energy stroke rather than a dark line that we had earlier. Looks very crisp, almost like a mango fruit. Now we can add a new layer beneath the eyes outline layer. Let's change the eyes a bit so that they aren't so blank. Let's pick something here, let's see. Yes, that's a good color. The area under the helmet should be a bit darker, and the space between and on the side of the eyes can be darker. Like that. We can have some little pupils almost like a human, but he's a robot guy so he will have these sort of interesting looking pupils. Now we need a lighter color. We can maybe use a more geometric brush. Add more pressure and opacity. Okay, the light source will be somewhere here, so we could do something like this. And then this. Now it looks like he actually has personality. The mouth needs some color as well. This darker color works well, here we go. With the chest detail we can do a similar thing here as we did with the eyes. So let's start out with a bit of a darker color and then blue on the inside and there will be this lighter part over here. And now, to the second most fun part, the highlights of the red parts. So let's copy the layer we made earlier for the brighter red parts. And now let's make it even brighter. Here, the proper highlights will be quite bright. And now we will choose the eraser tool and start erasing this with a soft pressure. On the left glove here, we don't want too much light, so let's erase most of it. There we go. It actually makes quite a big difference. We still want to work a bit more on the sword and add some more details. I'm thinking that maybe this looks too much like a carrot and not enough like an actual energy sword, so let's change that. Let's create a new layer for the handle. Yeah, now we should create some light and shadow for the hilt.
This darker red could work. Actually, I will create a new layer for this in case of mistakes. Sometimes it takes a few tries to find the right brush. Maybe this brush? There, that's a good color. We can also change the properties of this layer a little bit. I think the colors are maybe not the best. Great, this is much more interesting now that it goes a bit more purple-ish. Wow, how cool is that? Now we're almost done, we just need to push it to the next level. We can add some more details, so let's choose a brush that's quite accurate, this brush right here. And we could add some small details on the armor, just like some wear and tear and that sort of thing. and then we can erase some parts. I am using a method of just clicking several times to erase wanted parts, rather than dragging the brush to erase. That looks great. And let's put one more detail here. This is very extra, but it's really fun and if you want to take your work to the next level. I really recommend it. We can do the same thing to the sword. We have to change the color a little bit though. Since it's already quite yellow, we can make it basically white. Let's do this here. Okay, like that. Then if we really want to give it more of a pop, we can do some stuff here too. And then some stuff right here. It is starting to look quite three-dimensional, doesn't it? Almost popping out of the screen. We could also do some more to the blue part. If you want to make him seem actually metallic, just do some interesting texturing like this. I believe a robot's eyes should glow slightly, maybe with turquoise light. We could take this sort of brush with a softer pressure. It looks a bit much now, but it will look much better soon.
With the lens settings, we can add a directional blur. This will only apply to the layer we are on. Our character is now ready. Good job, and thanks for watching.